Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. And I'm here at a place with a north-south facing valley. I'll show you. Okay, this is to the west and it's the afternoon. And this way here are two ranges of hills with a pretty steep incline between. And on the way down this hill, there's a place to stopped at the edge of the road that's protected from the newosphere of the big city here. The only thing is in this particular location I know from it from past experience there are rattlesnakes around so you have to be careful where you sit. That's more protection over there another range of hills pretty high hills. So this is a different kind of steeply inclined set of hills with the valley between and it's facing uh, east-west, which generally is not as good as a north-south facing valley, but uh, down this way, see there's the afternoon sun up there, and uh, down that way is pretty much not populated area all the way to the ocean. So as the uh, earth turns from west to east every day, um, the newest sphere will be lagging backwards a little bit that way. And then that means that there will be a buildup of newest sphere energy over here on the east side the valley but the hills here at the beginning they cut that energy off it should flow up in the sky and on down that way towards the ocean so a person situated very deep down in this hollow down here say by these little trees down here um, might be well protected from the newosphere during a solar event So something to keep in mind is the rotation of the Earth with regard to the Sun. And uh, here's how I figured it out, and then I checked it online. Um, first I imagined how the Sun rises in the east every day and sets in the, in the west, right? And then I imagined the Sun stationary, like I was standing on the Sun, and I imagined which way the Earth would have to rotate if I had a friend sitting on Earth when the sun rose in the morning. And the, I, from that visualization, I figured out that, that the earth must rotate from west to east, the opposite of what the sun seems to be doing. So uh, sometimes you find it online, otherwise, but in fact, that's the way it is, actually it. And so, um, so the newospheric buildup will be like a sort of a frictional um, failure to move of the, of the astral matter and the newospheric energies uh, as the rotation occurs, the rotation from west to east. So it's kind of building up like snow in front of a snow plow on the east side of wherever you are. So that's where you need to have a range of hills there so, so that it skims over, over the top. <laughs> And then there's the question of um, the, um, the congestion, human population in the area. And of course, that's very important. You want hills wherever, uh, between you and wherever there's congested human population. So. This is Lockwood Valley here. And over there to the north, there's a range of mountains. And over here to this side, there's towards the ocean, uh, there's a range of mountains on the other side of which is the Pacific. Here there's a rise and a hill that the road goes up, and you can't see it, but on the other side over here, there's another range of mountains. And what we have here is a place that's very sparsely populated. Uh, there are a lot of nature spirits because of all the trees here. Uh, it hasn't been uh, there hasn't been a forest fire here in some time. The trees are in excellent shape. 
and um, pretty much surrounded by mountains. And consequently, it's extremely quiet, nuospherically, extremely quiet. The minute you descend from the high mountain down to here, suddenly there's nuospheric silence. <laughs> so this is a good example of a place where you could go to replenish your electromagnetic field. <laughs> well, I noticed a very peculiar uh, landmark feature here. Actually, it's a very small bowl. Looks like it was created by a landslide, can you see? Uh, like a like a tiny calderon or a tiny um, meteor hit, but of course that's not it. It was created by something else. And it looks like uh, down here it goes down farther. So uh, if the sides of that are stable, then sitting at the bottom of that, uh, not too close to the the wall, which doesn't look too stable, but closer to this side of it, uh, might be a very quiet place to be uh, for electromagnetic field regeneration, especially considering that all along this stretch there are mountains all around, all around, and so it's a relatively low area with a bowl inside it. Two features. And around this way, more mountains, really no houses to speak of, just a couple ranches. So there's another one, a very unusual one. Only I'd be very careful of this kind of, this look here of landslide and uh, sit far from it. Well, now you know where to begin anyway. And you can take it from there and maybe develop some rules of your own.